Hi, this is kind of a warm up for the next section uh, where we're going to talk about line, I line item profit analytics kind of in depth with screenshots and case studies. Um, hopefully, as we've gone through the customer nicheonomics section, uh, you've realized that we need line item profit analytics to be able to define our number one niche, to tune the fill rates for that niche, to track how we're doing on the 555, actually within uh, tracking reports, I, I'm a partial to something I call the 5x5 five five report we'll take a look at. Um, and then, you know, the ongoing uh, transformation of all things in, in the niche, particularly um, taking big losing customers and turn them into winners and getting more share out of them. Um, We've also talked about how to engage the reps and frontline employees, the importance of the education to pass the rules of 5 to 7, 1 to 10. I've been practicing that in, in these video clips. I'm sure you've heard 5 to 7 and 1 to 10 a couple times already, and you'll hear it a number of times more as we go through. And uh, a lot of my clips have, have, have been intentionally variations on a theme. So you don't just hear it once, you hear it several different ways, looking at it from different angles. Um, and uh, I think you can you can read some of these other things uh, that you know without my going through with great great detail. But going forward, uh, the what I'm planning, and this is a, a as I'm doing this 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 particular clip, I've got many many more slides planned uh, to 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 execute. But I'm I'm going to put these out to just see what the response and interest is. But uh, I'm, I'm intending to do a, a whole section on achieving basic service excellence metrics, uh, teaching the basics of, uh, of uh, wage economics, where premium wages for job niche come from and how they grow and learning how to learn and getting promoted, open book management and so forth. Um, and then to get a little bit more involved in change management and particularly uh, what is called culture management. Uh, without knowing it, we have a lot of unspoken truths about how we run our business. Uh, and they don't necessarily make us innovative. They might make us anti-innovative. So uh, if we're going to make uh, the ability to change uh, successfully and productively and innovatively a core competency, we're going to have to sort of unpack our existing culture and overhaul it to some degree. So these are all things coming ahead, starting with uh, uh, an in-depth look that, at, at using line item profit analytics. Thank you.